Welcome to ProStitcher Designer Tutorials. I'm Kim Sandberg. Today I want to show you how to do text with caution. There's a lot of really fun things that we can do with the text tool in Designer. I'm excited to show them to you. Let's start by opening a new design. In case you haven't done that before, let's click on the Home tab, then select New and it will open a new design page for you. Next, we want to select the Tools tab. Over here in the Create section on the ribbon, let's select the Text tool. In the center of my screen, I'm just going to click and it will drop a box for me that has text in it. Choose to type either in the text box in the upper right hand menu window or type on screen depending on the settings. If you want to see how to change that settings, please be sure and watch the tutorial about setting up your general options. I'm going to use this text box up here in the, cor up here in the corner. I will type in today, always quilting, because in my wonderful life, that's what I'm doing a lot of all the time. And then anytime we change anything in this properties box, we need to come down here and click the apply button at the end. So now I've got this set up in a fun font that we can play with. Let me show you how to change the font. Right here we click on this box. So if I scroll back up here, we'll click on this box right here. And it opens all the true type fonts that are available on my computer. You can see I can scroll through here and I've got a lot of different ones. The font that I actually have chosen right now is one that I have downloaded from a free site called Defont online you can download free fonts from there it's a pretty great pretty fun uh, place to play with fonts so we can choose a different font how about if I come here and do this Harlow solid let's change it click OK and then you'll notice that they did automatically change it in my window without me having to click apply that is the only thing that you can change without having to click apply it will automatically change it here in the window sorry in the design page all right let's start talking about some of the other options here we have with text we've got a lot of different ways to play with this text you'll notice that it is actually selected with a pink box around it if I click here on select it will put a black box around it but I want to play with the text options so to get back to that pink box I'll simply click on text up here again and it will put the pink box back around it let's go through what some of these symbols mean so starting up here we have a black box on each one of the corners here if I put my mouse cursor over that I can move it up and you can see that it will move my design from that corner and adjust it in that way which is kind of a fun effect to play with and all four corners work that way Next, we have the black diamond. It allows a single letter to be moved to any location. So you'll notice there's a black diamond inside each one of the letters. I can grab this S here, and I can move it down here if I want to. I can move it wherever I want to. And remember, any time you make a change like that and you go, oh, you know what, I don't want that, just come up here and click on your undo button, and it fixes it. I may have to hit that twice, but it will move it back where I wanted it to be. These blue diamonds here adjust the kerning or spacing between the letters. So that's your new word of the day, kerning. But if I grab this here, you'll see that I can actually scoot this part of the text over. So if I wanted to insert a design right here, that's what allows me to do that, changing that kerning. Once again, I'll click undo to bring it back where it belongs. Next, in the top left corner, I have this black diamond, the two-part black diamond. This proportionately makes text the larger or smaller. So when I click on this, do you see how it makes the, my text larger or smaller just by dragging and changing that? Pretty, pretty easy, pretty fun to play with. And the black diamond in the bottom right corner moves the text inward or outward along the axis. So you can see I can squish it together or I can stretch it out. Once again, kind of fun to play with. The green circles here, these, there's one on the top and one on the bottom, and watch what they do. They actually move the text outward or inward in an envelope manner. So I can do it up like that. I can squish it up like this. 
put a nice curve on it, or I can actually grab this bottom one and pull it down and make it kind of wide and fat. And let's bring this one back up here. This purple circle over here allows me to rotate the text. And you can see that it rotates on the center point here in the bottom of the design. Let's play around with this one just a little bit more. Uh, now comes the caution. When working with text, if I do a right click and I choose this option right here, breakup text, the pink bounding box that has all these great options will no longer be available. The breakup text abandons the true type details and renders all the text as regular artwork. When the text is broken up, the shading within the letters changes slightly. This will indicate artwork or true type options. So let's see how that changes. Notice I've got this nice dark blue. When I click on breakup text, it changes so that it has these slight lighter blue lines through it, letting me know that I've actually broken that text up. You can also see over here in my sequence window, each letter is listed separately. Once the text is broken up, the bounding box will turn into a black bound rectangle with regular artwork manipulation options. So to alter a text as artwork using boxes, diamonds, and circles, we're going to use any of these options I'm going to walk through now. The black boxes, which are here on the top, bottom, and on the two sides here, when I put my cursor over them, you can see that it allows me to make the design larger or smaller and do the same thing in an up and down direction. Okay. The black diamonds at the top and right allow the artwork to skew or slant. So this black diamond here allows it to skew or slant and the other black diamond is right here which does the same thing. It allows me to kind of tilt my letters to just give it a little bit of a different look. And once again, we have this purple circle, which allows me to tilt it in different directions. Text within the black bounding box is not grouped or combined in any way after using the breakup text function. To manipulate all the text, select all the elements. And then let's do a right click, which they're all selected right now. Actually, let me show you a cool way to select all, all of the elements. You can either with the select tool, you can just draw a box around them and they will all be selected, which we can see here in the sequence view, or I can click right here on all items and it will select all of the items. Now let's group these items together. So let's do a right click and come down here and choose group. You can see that we also have the option to do a control G, which will group them together. Now, instead of showing all of them separately, you can see that I have a group. To move and alter single letters, simply select the letter with the select tool. Notice the pink bounding box is no longer an option for the separate ones. So let's click on the plus here, and then click on the plus here. And once again, I have my single letters available. They're all listed as artwork. So if I select just one, actually, I do not have the option of selecting just one because I group them. Let's remember that. If I want to, I can do a right click again and I can ungroup to undo that group. And then I can select each option, each letter separately. In the sample, in this sample image that I'm showing here, the text is getting a little bit Ill illegible. Um, notice that since the breakup text function is applied, the font can no longer be changed. We can't change the font. If I come up here and I have all of my designs selected, like I showed you earlier, if I click on text, it does not give me that pink box anymore. This is considered artwork now, as we can see over here in this section. So remember, only break apart text when you're completely ready to move on to the next step. And remember, it's always really easy to start over again by selecting everything, doing a right click, and choosing delete, and you can start fresh. And if you happen to do that and you want your design back, just click on undo and your words will come back. Well, I hope you enjoyed learning about how to use text and I'll be excited to see some of the designs that you all come up with 
using the text tool.